This is the story of how to take the twinkling out of stars. Turbulence in the atmosphere of the Earth makes stars blurry when you look at them through telescopes. People have sent telescopes into space to try and get around that problem successfully. But we do something different. We measure the turbulence hundreds of times a second. And then we have a very small mirror that wiggles around its shape hundreds of times a second to cancel out the blurring of the turbulence. And we get pictures on the ground uh, just as clearly as if our telescope were in space. So this is the story of how stars captivate our imagination. And it uh, involves the work of the Swedish uh, playwright, painter, and photographer, uh, August Strindberg. In the 1890s, he experimented, and he placed a series of photographic plates in the evening during a clear sky and expected and believed that he could actually get the images of the starry night. Like the stars themselves, they really provoke a lot of wonder. The star apple is the most beautiful fruit in the world. It's a dark purple, about the size of an orange, and it has large seeds, each of which is covered by a white arrow that form a, the shape of a star. Every animal in the rainforest loves to eat the star apple. The way that we reward students has changed dramatically in the last even 20 years, where at one point we gave gold stars on students' papers as a tool to motivate. Students will now, as young as third grade, turn their work into a shared Google Drive. So there's no place to put a star. So this is the story of an unlucky star that got so close to the supermassive black hole that it was ripped apart by its gravitational force. And even though you will think like, okay, stars uh, digested by black holes sounds like science fiction, we actually see them, you know, they happen about once every 10,000 years in a galaxy like our own. So by actually monitoring something like tens of thousands of galaxies, we actually see an unlucky star being digested by one of these black holes, you know, about once a month these days, which is pretty amazing. Stars have always been an inspiration for artists, but incidentally, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star by Mozart has nothing to do with stars because Mozart originally wrote variations on a French song that has nothing to do with stars. It has something to do with my mama told me. You know, stars are wonderful things, but stars are only a small portion of the universe. The protons, neutrons, and electrons that comprise stars only are about 6% of the mass in the entire universe. So stars, as bright and wonderful as they are, are even more unusual than we might have otherwise thought. Like a nova exploding in the midst of the Milky Way, UC Santa Cruz burst forth on the educational scene 50 years ago. And our star has shone brightly ever since then.